Desmond Watson. Look how big he is. What's up everyone? KJ3 here and Florida Gators Recruiting. It's always been a personal favorite thing of mine to do for this channel and I've done every single class so far except for the class of 2021. So this video is going to be part one of two. This one's going to cover the early enrollees who are on campus for spring camp. Part two is going to be covering the rest of the class and the people who are just arriving now for fall camp. So without further ado, part one, let's get to it. First up, Jason Marshall, corner five-star. Only five-star of the class, and he's every bit of that five-star ranking. By the end of spring practice, he was already taking majority of first-team reps, and that tells me that he's going to be pushing for early playing time because he's just that talented. So honestly, if he's really not starting by the Georgia game midway through the year, I'm going to think there's something wrong with him because from everything I've been hearing, this guy is a stud, next great defensive back at Florida, and watch out for him being on a freshman all-SEC team. Next up on the list is Jason Marshall's high school teammate, safety Corey Collier. He appears to be more of a free safety, which is not necessarily something that we naturally have on this Gators defense, in case you didn't notice by watching our 2020 defense last year. Safety was a big position in need, and I love the fact that he is a teammate with Marshall, who's going to be on the field early. With Collier, though, it may take a little bit. I'm really hoping that the strength and conditioning program really helps him get on the field earlier, because his big drawbacks right now are physicality. Physical. But whatever he lacks in hip movement and a little bit slow he makes up for in closing speed and the ability to find the ball in the air he's going to be a good safety may take a little bit for him to get on the field but going to be a solid player for uf which brings me to the next player on our list another safety we took two in this class donovan mcmillan he had a high school wrestling career and a pretty impressive one at that so you know he's athletic you know he knows how to tackle he appears to be more of a strong safety, a box safety, someone that we can bring down to the line of scrimmage and help out with run support. Very versatile, expecting the coaching staff to coach him up because he appears to lack a little bit in side-to-side -side agility, but once that is tweaked out, expect him to be a contributor for this Gators team going forward. May take him a year to get on the field, though. Which brings me to quarterbacks. Took two in this class, and... More times than not, the backup quarterback is going to be the most popular man on campus. Just the way it goes sometimes, and unfortunately for Carlos Del Rio Wilson and Jalen Kidna, I just expect them to be backup quarterbacks at the University of Florida. No disrespect to them, I just think Emory Jones, Anthony Richardson, and an incoming Nick Evers are just, they're, they're better quarterbacks. And despite Del Rio being sneaky athletic, both of them have strong arms, high football IQ, it's going to help in the QB room, but barring any major injury, I really don't see them getting many snaps in the actual game time on Saturday, and that may lead to eventual transfers along the way. But in the meantime, it's always good to have a loaded quarterback room that's also full of very smart quarterbacks. And we all know quarterbacks need someone to throw the ball to. So that brings me to Dejon Reynolds, our wide receiver early in roll league. This is someone that I expect to be more of a possession type receiver. He doesn't quite have that top end explosive speed, but he's good at route running, very good at catching in traffic, and he can jump and high point and catch a ball as well. And then also tight end Nick Elksness. Good route runner, needs to put on a little bit more size to become a better blocker, but... Tim Brewster loves him. That's honestly all I have to say. Brewster has my 100% trust when it comes to any tight end that he wants. This next one coming out of Chief Borders, he's going to need to add a little bit of muscle on his size before he can get some real playing time because he's the person that I am slotted to take the Brenton Cox hybrid defensive end slash linebacker role. He's 6'5", he's got the frame for it, but right now he just lacks a little bit in the physicality department. Physical. So he may be someone to take a red shirt, wait for Cox to go ahead and leave Florida, but I expect him to be a contributor, probably not this year, but definitely next year. Just a spoon though, this next one, defensive lineman. I completely expect him to be a contributor early on. 
get a lot of reps on that defensive line because a lot of people had him being underrated in this class. And some people even said he may have been the best defensive end in the 2021 class. So he's someone that I am really looking forward to see how he integrates into our game plan because I know we have depth on that D-line, but I expect him to be showing up and getting more and more reps as the season progresses. And Christopher Thomas is someone that I'm just expecting to take a red shirt. He's got great size, just needs to add on muscle to become a rotational D-line player. But Desmond Watson, Mr. Beef Jerky, oh my goodness, look at all of that weight. Well, I know he's a defensive lineman. He's going to be slated for that nose tackle. He's getting comparison to Terrence Mount Cody from Alabama back in the years. But, man, look how big he is. Like... You're going to need to shed a little bit of that weight because, man, you're, you're just going to be pushed around and you got to make your weight work for you whenever you're on the line. But he is someone that I do expect to see third and short situations, goal line stands, and field goal block formations in his freshman year. And that's it. Those are the early enrollees from the Gators 2021 football recruiting class. Like I said, this is part one of two. So go ahead and look out for part two. Go ahead, subscribe up here. If you're not, turn on the bell notification so you get notified when part two is released. And if you want to check out my live streams, other content, go ahead, click right over here, guys. Guarantee it's good quality. All right, KJ3 signing off. Go Gators.